My name is Nuri Begittens and I'm a graduate water engineer. I work in water management, water drainage, um, flooding, uh, water quality issues. I mainly do assessments before construction and a lot of design um, in the areas of flood risk management and flood defences. What I enjoy about my job is the variety of work. Projects can be quite small or they can extend to quite large schemes that are worth multi-million dollars, pounds even. <laughs> when I graduated from university, I came straight to Halcrow. I was quite fortunate. I've always worked in water engineering. I think it's something I was always interested in from the time I was at university, so I was quite fortunate to start work straight away in the area I wanted. At university, I did my degree in civil and environmental engineering. I studied for four years at Cardiff University. To be honest, the UK was a bit of a last minute choice. <laughs> it wasn't actually number one on my list. I applied to, or thought of applying to places in Canada, America, in the Caribbean, where I'm from, and also in the UK. But um, I was very impressed with the information I got from the universities here, and particularly Cardiff University. When I came, my dad came with me to help me settle, so that was a really big help. Um, when I came, it was the middle of September, and it was lovely warm weather, and I thought, oh, this is really nice. Shortly after my dad left, the rain started. <laughs> um, it was a really different experience, because I came on my own. I didn't have any family nearby, so I really was a bit like a fish out of water. But it was actually a lot less daunting than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be quite challenging being one of the few females on the course, but I think one of the things I've realised is that people respect you for what you know, and they don't judge you for who you are. So it didn't matter whether I was a woman or whether I was from Barbados, you know, I just blended in as a student. We actually had a career fair at my school, and there was a female civil engineer there, and um, it was just really interesting, because I'd never considered engineering prior to that. But um, I think just from what she had said and the type of career that she had progressed in and gone into, that really piqued my interest. I think my mum's definitely been a great inspiration for me. She's a very strong woman and she's had to go through many challenges and she's always come through almost like a shining beacon and, you know, she's my stability. Um, I think my dad was quite an inspiration as well because he also went away to study in a place where he had no one. <laughs> I think it runs in our family. It must be the crazy genes. <laughs> but yeah, he was definitely an inspiration for me to come here. One of the things I'm quite interested in is working with a charity in, say, an underdeveloped country to, to make a difference, really. The other reason is that I'm a Christian and for me, part of being a Christian is being able to help people. It's like you have a higher calling, you have a higher reason for doing what you do, and you realise that the world doesn't revolve around you. So I think because of that, I just want to, you know, give back. In terms of short-term goals, I hope to get chartered in the next few years. Um, once I'm chartered, I guess the world's my oyster. I'm not really sure exactly where I see myself in, say, 10 years' time because there are so many different avenues to go into, so many different areas to expand into. So I guess I'll just wait and see.